Hey guys, MC Craw here, and welcome back. We are on episode 11 of my Let's Play Hardcore series. Uh, last episode, I asked you guys a very serious question of whether or not I should make a mob spawner uh, over here or over at the piston house. And it seemed very clear everyone everyone wanted me to make it over here. I don't understand. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're gonna make it in the piston house. However, there's not going to be much for piston use. There are mob spawners out there that utilize uh, pistons, and I actually thought about using them, but they're they're not very efficient, and that's the part that kind of sucks. So we're gonna we're gonna figure something out here, some some in between. I'll figure out a way to get some pistons in here, guys. That one way or another, I'll, I'll get them in here. Um, so, I've got a few ideas. I need to do a few things. I need to get a very wide open area cut out over there. And I need... Uh, oh, what else do I need? God, so many things I need. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I got on the wrong, got on the wrong one. Um, sorry about that, guys. Got a little distracted there. I don't think you guys have seen this uh, train system yet. It's one I, I made to go from here to the piston house. Anyways, uh, so I need to make a wide open area uh, for for the mob spawner. Um, I want the mob spawner to actually be underground. And we're going to use a mob evader, a uh, water mob evader, to bring the mobs up. Uh, now, I want it to look kind of cool, so I had a couple ideas. Um, so... One of the things that we're not going to be able to get out of the mob uh, mob system is Enderman. So we'll have to probably uh, make an Enderman spawner sometime later in the future. And that's going to be a lot of piston powered. But right now, what I need is TNT, arrows, and feathers. Because, of course, I need feathers. No, uh, just... Ah, I left this open. That is not good. No, no, not good. Not good. No. No. I specifically remember somebody warning. No! What are you... Sh Don't jump. No! Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's getting dark. Oh, shit. Oh, no. You think he'll be gone? <laughs> when I open that up? <laughs> oh, my God. He was just hiding in there. Where are you? Oh, he's stepping on the pressure plate. That's powering this thing. <laughs> he's not letting me in. Oh, son of a... Ugh! Oh, don't, don't, don't even think about it. Look, oh my god, he closed the door. And sprint. Nope. Sprint. Ah, oh, there we go, we got him. We got him. That was insane. That was a first, and uh, I'm glad I caught it on the video here. That's awesome. Maybe I should uh, remove that. <laughs> just We'll just remove that one, too, just in case. I didn't even think of that being a problem. I didn't think mobs would be in here. I'm usually pretty good about closing stuff up. Okay. Anyways, I was saying, guys, um, we're going to need to create a... Oops, I opened up the wrong one. We're going to need to create a uh, an area in which we can collect stuff. And I'm going to have that area um, uh, right next to this, uh, uh, what, what do we call it, wine cellar. It's going to be kind of uh, attached to it somewhat. So all my collection stuff is going to sort of be at the level that this floor is going to be at. So I only have to go through like one door, you know. And uh, so I need to make a warehouse area. So open up an area for a warehouse and then open up an area for my mob spawner. So those are the f a couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to go digging into this mountain and then digging down. And then once I'm done digging stuff up, I will uh, be back. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. All right. Just to keep you guys updated, I'm still alive. Uh, I dug out. Good amount down here, as you can see, and down in here, and uh, I think this is a good level because uh, right up here, just a few more 
blocks, and then there's like the the downward slope on the back side of the mountain. So we're right here, and we're just gonna go down a little bit, and then I'm gonna dig this out to a pretty large square, um, and then that's where our storage unit's gonna be. Uh, we're not really gonna put much here for the time being. I just wanna get it all set out, know my dimensions. And then uh, if you guys look up here, uh, this is actually a slime chunk. This is the corner of it, and it goes out that way to one 16 by 16 block area. Uh, it's pretty much dead, like pretty close to dead center on this thing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to cut out the area for my slime chunk, leave two spaces uh, outward for uh, water you know, the water tracks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then I'm going to go over another two and then start with my mob spawner. Uh, and it's going to be 24 blocks from... No, let's go 28 blocks from this level, and that will be our spawning pads. So this way, if I'm up there or down here... Oh, actually, you know what? I should probably go deeper than that because we don't know how many rooms we're going to have here, how low they're going to be. Um, you know what, guys? My best bet might just be make it, making it next to my uh, slime spawner. Just make them the same level, and then I can view them both at the same time. Yeah, it's going to be the best bet. All right, so I'm going to do that, and I'll be back. Well, guys, I was digging down. And ran into the same problem I had at the other place. It just goes on forever. Just a ridiculously long trail here. Oh my god. I gotta light all this up. If I don't light it up, then my mob spawner's gonna be useless. Oh god, I got way too much work cut out for me on this one, guys. But... I gotta get it done. I really need a mob spawner. So, this video might be a day late. And we'll see. Alright guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Whew! Alright guys. We are pretty low. Pretty low. Where are we? Uh, level 10. This is the floor I usually make my slime spawner on. So, that is what we're gonna make the mob spawner on. Where... I can't remember which direction things were. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and now carve out the uh, two areas. Uh, the area for my uh, slime spawner and then an area for my mob spawner. And I will be back. Whew. Do not underestimate how much time it takes to mine out all this. Oh my god. Alright, well, here's our slime section right here here's my ladder all the way up so I'm two out from my designated spawning pad and uh, then I have a viewing area right back here uh, I can use glass because that area can be lit up no problem but on this side I have half steps because light doesn't transfer through this open uh, transparent block so so when I turn out the lights on this side, uh, none of it will co come through and they can still spawn just fine. So here's uh, my spawning right here. Uh, I realized after making it this large uh, that this is going to be a huge, huge spawning pad. And uh, it actually gave me a great idea for how I want my... Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, how I want my mobs to travel. So, uh, this episode, we might not get too far with this. I realize we might be on the mob spawner uh, for a few episodes, guys. So, I know you guys have seen these a hundred times, but uh, I'll have some other stuff out throughout the week, and uh, we will we'll have, other, have other stuff going on. I got a tutorial. I got two tutorials in the works right now. Uh, one proof of concept and a showcase. Uh which uh, two of them I haven't recorded yet. And then I have... Uh, what do I have? 
uh, Adventures with Tintin, which will be coming out on Saturday. I, f I have an official release date on that, and it will be every Saturday from then on. Um, as far as other stuff in here, guys, oh, this drives me insane having a too high ceiling, but we gotta have the too high for the uh, for the uh, mob spawning. I can't have it three high because we don't want Enderman, which really sucks. We'll have to make a separate Enderman spawner. Uh, so after thinking about it, uh, what I'm gonna do so that we have pistons being used is I'm gonna make a shutoff unit uh, with let's see I'm gonna make a shutoff unit shutoff units most likely gonna need pistons and then I'm gonna have uh, an on and off switch for uh, spider spawners so kinda like how Etho has in his where the half steps pop up that's what I'm gonna do uh, so and I'm gonna have quite a few pads here so we're we're incorporating some some pistons into the piston house mob spawner. All right, told you guys I'd figure it out. Um, all right, guys, uh, I am going to dig out my cell phone. Just went off. I'm going to dig out my pads, and uh, for this side, and then this side, I am going to dig out this two area. I think it's two. It might be three, actually. Now that I think about it, I think it is three. Yeah, the large ones have to go and collect into a three-wide channel. So, yeah, I'll be digging this out. Dang, I should have made it one more wider. But it's all good. This is plenty of spawning space. It's all good. Uh, so, yeah, I'll dig three out, and then uh, I will see you guys after that. All right, guys, I'm back. And, uh, well, I had a lot of footage, but uh, it got corrupted. So... I'm going to have to update you as to what I've done. Okay, so as you guys can see here, this is my mob spawner. They are 5x5 five five pads. And uh, I have half step blocks here. And then I have pistons underneath, which push them up to disable the spawning. I'll show you guys that real quick. Pretty spiffy. Actually, you know what? I'm not hearing any of that. Not like my sound isn't up. Oh. That's interesting. My... The volume on my headset was down. Okay. Alright, so the wiring is... Fairly simple, actually. Um, I've seen it done a couple different times, uh, different ways. But I'd have to say my way is, like, very efficient on materials. Uh, I left this center one open here, guys, so that you can kind of see me uh, do it. So you just destroy the four section. Excuse me? Yes, that is awesome. He's showing me his choo-choo train. -choo yeah, cool. Just shoves paper in my face. I'm like, what is that? All right, so oh, you know what? Let me do this. You guys can actually see what's going on. So all of these are connected. Let's see if I can do this. All of these connected through wire here. So the wire goes across this way, and then it branches out from the center of these into all of these. Oh my mouse! What the hell? to all of these. Oh my god. Alright, so as you guys can see, they go from they go from here. Uh, there's like a line of redstone that goes from each one of these. And then from each of these, they go down each column. That way and that way. So as you see, here's the center one. It goes off to the next one. Uh, so what I do here is uh, I'm just going to fill this in put some pistons right here here you know right right where we're gonna put the um, the half step box all right and then put a block on top of there I make sure to 
fill all this in so mobs don't spawn down there. And then on two of these, you just want to put some redstone. And it's very simple. And when you power the redstone, the redstone will power this block and this block, uh, or this piston and this piston, and that one will power those two. So it's fairly simple. It only uses for each one, uh, probably like one repeater because I'm taking the power from each one of these. So I need the power to transfer through the repeater uh, or through that block. So let's go through the block into the other one. So, uh, so pretty much just like one repeater, a torch, and two pieces of redstone to power all of these. And I don't want to forget to put my half steps, which I don't have on me, of course. And I don't have wood to make a chest. I got nothing. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys what I have collected thus far. I have a ridiculous amount of uh, resources from digging that out. It was insane, guys. I did have enough for a little bit of TNT. And I used that for creating my 3x3 three three channel. I think I only needed a 3x2 though, huh? Oh, well, it is what it is now. Uh, for my slime spawner. Alright, so where did I put them? Here they are. So, I got all this redstone. And plus, you guys probably saw there's a lot more down there. Yeah, that is a lot of redstone. This isn't even half the cobblestone, I think. Uh, I just kept ditching some of it. <laughs> uh, got a lot of slime balls because I was working right next to the slime spawner. I've got a lot of gold ore and my ingots here. It took a lot of time, guys, to get that done. I'm surprised that... Uh, how long it took and then what's even worse is that I recorded all that and I was able to save only up to where you guys saw so that really sucked alright guys so I remembered to grab the cobblestone half slabs just gotta place these puppies on here whoops there there and oh my god when I'm recording, I get this little lag in my mouse. Drives me insane. Alright. Uh, and that should be it. Just make sure that this sucker works. Which I know it will. There it goes. Alright, so now we have the option to turn on and off spiders. Uh, no endermen. And the only thing left to do is to make a shutoff unit. And uh, let's see. I've got to make a shutoff unit. And wait. Oh, in the water channel. I'm like, what? Um. I don't want to give away any surprises, but I got some plans about how the channel is going to work. And the shutoff valve. So what should we do now? I don't know, guys. I'm only at, like, 20 minutes. I got, like, another 10 minutes to record. Hmm. Should I work on a slime spawner? Nah. Alright guys, I'm going to give away what I, what I have planned. Uh, if you guys notice over here, I actually have some hole dug out here, which was really stupid. I'm digging up. Um, I'm going to create four separate channels. One there. I one in each corner, obviously. And all my mobs are going to be going up the four different channels up into the uh, storage room. So the storage room is actually going to be directly above this room. And it's going to be the exact width of this. So that's how we're going to find out the dimensions of our storage room. 
And then on our storage room, it, we'll probably break it up into a couple parts. Uh, you know, to make it useful for other things. Because, I mean, we're not going to need this much space for a storage room. So, we'll see. Um, so, I think what we should do now is try to get our water channeled in the right direction. Now, what's important here... No, not that one. What's important is that I don't dig out these areas and have to use uh, water one channel below on that on these on this specific line. So uh, I can drop that down one block if I needed to, though. But I just don't want to have to do that. So here is what I'm thinking. I need. I need an infinite water source and some water and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I have my makeshift uh, water source here and I need to get to the center. Okay guys, so from the center we want to push them out to the corners and it would have worked a lot better if I didn't have a, a pad in the center rather than having one of these in the center. So, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to push the mobs outward from here. So on all four of these sides right here, we're going to have water source pushing out. So let's see what happens here. Ah, see we have still water. Can't have that. So, that should be fine because we are going to do this let's see we want it to go out this way and then we want them to go that way and that way okay let's see what happens if we put a block here can't have any still water okay that looks good so, all right. So we're just doing some we're just doing some testing here now, guys. All right. So I know how far the water reaches here. So if I put a block so that they go from here over, we want them to go into that corner. See how far that reaches. Which is right. Oh, that's perfect. Because then I can put my other one right there. Okay. Alright, I think I got how I want it to run. Okay, so we're going to dig out here. And we are going to dig out that one. That's the third It's been a while since I've made these. Okay. Half steps. Oh, I need signs and a bunch of them. Alright, guys. I'll be back. I need to grab a bunch of signs. Alright, guys. I have got a bunch of signs here. Um, but I realize we're going to need even a lot more than that because when we start making our channels up, whew, that is going to be a lot of sign usage there. Okay. So what was I doing? Oh, I already got some in my inventory. Okay, so we take a sign. This is your standard uh, mob system thingy. Actually, you know what? I think I, did I just do that wrong? Let me let me double check check this. That so we said it was gonna be over here, right there. That looks like it works fine. And we said, okay, let's put that one there. That one actually goes out a little bit farther than I was expecting. But that should be fine. If we, as long as we use this system, it'll work. Uh, because we're, we have a block on top of that section. And then, here, the trick is going to be right here. So, let's take some water over there 
Let's see what happens when we put it right in the center. Perfect. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, couldn't be happier, guys. And that freaking sound that sounds like an earthquake or a thunderstorm is actually just someone moving some trash cans outside. That's funny. Live in an apartment building, guys. Deal with it. Alright, um, so then we just need to copy this design on all the sides. And then when I start to get to the other sides, I will uh, be back. Alright, guys. I did want to point something out to you guys. Um, most people are familiar with using steps instead of half slabs. Um, I think Etho popularized it with steps. But if you use half slabs, you will be saving so much on materials. You have to use one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, like six, five or six to get one, uh, to get four staircases, and then with the uh, half slabs you get however much material you're putting into it, and plus they're faster to create. So just uh, want to let you guys know that also faster to destroy. <laughs> all right, be right back. All right, guys, I got all all the corner sections done from the inside. Uh, so now, when we place all of our water water source water sources here, we should be fine. Now you guys could see that that looks like an issue at the moment, but in actuality, ah, crap it. There we go. Um, if I do this and then remove it, fixed. Very simple. So I will, uh, I don't really need to do that at the moment, but just showing you guys that it works just fine. Oh no, what happened here? Were all of them like that? Well that's no good. Uh, what the? What? It's stacking? <gasps> oh, no way. You can st Oh, that is awesome. I love it. So now you don't waste your water sources by placing it on other water sources. They actually stack next to other water... Oh, that is just awesome. How am I supposed to get rid of my water now and pick up a new one? No, I do that. Oh, crap. I don't know how to get rid of my water now. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'll be back. Alright, guys, so I've concluded that this is not going to be an issue. Um, yes, it flows downward like that, but when you think about it, if a mob actually does fall here and slides over here, it, they move. They're just going to shift over a little bit and then go into a different direction. It's, it's just what's going to happen. Um, okay, so that's that's settled. Uh, then we'll see. Where were we? Um, we? Oh, yeah, so we don't need... It looks like we don't need any other, like, mob movers in this center section, which is really good. Uh, so we just have to work on the outside edge. So let's let grab my water source here. We don't need that. Alright. Let's see where we are. Uh, this one. This is the one we need to get on. Okay. So I place the block here. Then we place another water source. They see we, if it's on this side, we want to push them over there. So we'll place the water source here. That looks good. So we're pushing them over here. And then we have about this much room. So if I if 
I build my starter right there, they should flow into there just fine. So let's grab this crap. So just like how we built that one, we'll start right here on this edge. And my foot's asleep. Oh, man, is it asleep right now. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a killer. Oh, it tingles. Oh, yeah, that tingles. Oh, my God. I hope I'm not recording. I am recording. That's not good. Okay, so. Oh, and it's really, oh, it's like doing that where it cools down. <laughs> Don't, you know, you shouldn't move it. If you move it, it just makes it worse. Just let the blood flow. Just let it go. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, so what we have here is the water. Uh, oop, lag. Okay, so we got to put the water right there. That's going to flow in that direction. And then from this side, we'll put the water. We'll, we'll put it on both channels here, here and here on this one, because we want them to, we want them to go directly into this, kind of center, but not so much, you know. Um, and then we'll build one of Etho's mob evaders. Uh, so I am going to finish digging out all of these, and then I'll be back. Alright guys, so all of those channels are done. Now it's just putting the uh, the water where it needs to go. To be honest guys, I don't think I've ever made uh, a mob system with so few of uh, these sections. Usually it's like there's just so many. I thought I was going to need a lot more signs, although I did use a lot of signs. here. Nope. No. <laughs> I can't do it from any of those corners. Oh, what? I had shift on. How did I fall? You know what? I'll do it from the ceiling. Ha. Ah. Take that creativity. Oh, what? <laughs> it still failed. That made me look like a douche. Maybe if I just put it there. No. Oh, God. I don't need you anyways. Alright. Very picky. Right. Oh, shoot. That one I did fall on ex on purpose, accidentally. It was my own fault, so I'm trying to say. Okay. Um then on this one, one there, and one here. Okay, and on, I can't even get to the other side of this one. This one goes here, one here. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, carpal tunnel. Well, that worked. That wasn't really what I was trying to do, but yeah, that worked. Uh, and then this one goes on that side. Yeah, yeah, looking good. Uh, I'm not going to put any channels back there because I need to be working on that. Uh, let's see. Let's get to this side. One there. I'll put that there just so I can extend it out. Ah, you fail. Okay. This one goes on this side. Ah, crap. I should have grabbed more buckets. 
hate where I'm back to the uh, source. This one's on this side. Yeah. Oh, I think this is going to turn out great, guys. Um, my biggest issue that I'm going to have is uh, just trying to get mobs to spawn in here. And that's that's an issue because of the uh, uh, the ra uh, the minecart. What are, what are they? The abandoned mine shaft. Yeah, that's underneath my house. It is ridiculously long. It, it's the same one that's extended over by the piston house, uh, or by the uh, the the shack, or whatever we want to call it. Oh yeah, that's right. Go up. Alright, I think we are just about done. So I think we are done. I wish I could run through water faster. That's done. That one's done. Just gotta check one more side and I think we're good. And voila! We are done. For now. Alright guys, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Um, if you guys like this uh, mob system that I'm making, please let me know. Uh, it, it's, it's not like a new design. That's more like a redesign of existing mob systems. It's just done a little bit differently to save on materials and to... I don't think it's kind of unique to get them all to want to move to the corners, too. So I think uh, that's pretty unique. Anyway, guys, if you like it, let me know. Uh, and, uh, yeah. As always, guys, I'll see you on the flip side.